I'm Nathan Woodward. I guess you are the very first guests and viewers of my very first vlog. It is super duper cold outside. I, I was born and raised in Southern California and I uh, came out here one time to pick up a Nickelodeon for a friend of mine and uh, really fell in love with the area. And so uh, I bought this bed and breakfast, even though I'm a filmmaker and moved 1,800 miles away because I love this place so much, so I guess I'm going to have to love all of it. Uh, it's not a good idea to go outside right now, so I figure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have fun and stay inside, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook a tri-tip. Or uh, if you go to the store out here and you ask for a tri-tip, nobody knows what you're talking about. Uh, so this is a bottom sirloin roast. Uh, we call it a tri-tip. It's the, uh, like the surfer steak, right? Uh, um, it's a California thing. You'll, you'll get that a lot. But no, so I wanted to have fun inside tonight because you can't go outside. And, uh, um, uh, everybody's probably closed anyways. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a, a tri-tip roast. And uh, I wanted to show you guys how I do it. This is a bottom sirloin roast slash a tri-tip. All right, so get it to room temperature. You don't want to cook things cold. Um, and you want to season it. Like salt and pepper, that may be really good. There are a lot of things in cooking that are worth the money, right? Um, if you're going to be searing uh, any kind of meat, don't use vegetable oil or canola oil. Uh, they, they, they don't have a very high yield rate when it comes to burn, right? Uh, so um, you, you don't want the oil to burn, uh, is what I'm trying to say. Use grapeseed oil. Um, it's not that it's, I get compared to canola oil, it's going to be ridiculously expensive, but I promise you it's worth it. As, as you look at the oil, right, it's nice and free running, free flowing, right? Uh, that lets you know it's hot, it's ready to be used, okay? So it's always important that when you're uh, uh, putting down the food, you always lay it away from you. You don't, wanna, you don't want the oil splattering back on you. It's going to be really hot, right? You're going to want that to sear uh, a minute on each side, right? Uh, and that's going uh, to be hot enough to get it nice and dark some color on it and uh, more importantly when you're roasting in the oven that's gonna keep all the juices inside you're gonna want that uh, so that it doesn't dry out as you're roasting it because you're gonna be cooking this bad boy at 450 degrees for like two hours uh, you're gonna want to take a giant pot you know I have a big steel one uh, you're gonna want to butter the inside I right, just put a cube of butter on top of the roast. Don't be one of those people who need like measuring cups and spoons and things like that when you're doing with spices. Just pinch it, fill it out, you'll feel better for it. So a lot of people, when they're, when they're cooking roast, they traditionally, like you throw the carrots and the potato and the onion in as the roast is cooking. I've never, I've never liked that. Uh, I, I don't like how the meat seeps into the, uh, the vegetables. It makes them soggy. And, the, and a lot of people, a lot of people, that's what they want. That's traditional, that's normal. Uh, we're not gonna do that tonight though. Um, we're going to roast the carrots. All right guys, so you're gonna need a pan. Any pan will do. Salt and pepper at the bottom of the pan. Uh, this is a recurring theme in, in my kitchen. Uh, it's kind of the difference that you have in, uh, I guess, good cooking and bad cooking, I suppose. You want to look something like that, speckled and delicious. Remember that butter we were using? Yep. We're going to use it again. Not the male version of Julia Child. More butter! You're going to take that butter, put it in the pan, and then put that directly on the heat. Rosemary. Oregano, parsley flakes, paprika, paprika, pe 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 paprika. There may be no better three words in the English language than herbs, butter, and garlic. I'm telling you, your house is going to smell delicious. You should do it for that reason and that reason alone. Rainbow carrots from California, a land where there is no rain. Very few, very few rainbows. Just trust me on that one. Uh, 
because it's, it is California, the land lies. Don't, don't peel your carrots. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why people do that. Um, wash them, do that. Uh, but that skin, that it's, it's so much flavor in it. Butter's melted. Add the garlic. Interesting side note. The queen forbids the royal family from eating garlic. Are they vampires, or is she just mean-spirited? Movies taught me a lot, uh, and Lord of the Rings taught me that the only thing on the planet that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the egg in terms of versatility, the mighty potato. Probably the most important trick. So, a sharp knife is your best friend. And I remember it was funny because when Kathy came up and I was using this ankle, uh, she had asked me if I'd cut the potatoes before I cut them. I told her no. And she was like, why are they cutting so easily? And I told her, because the knife is sharp. This is what you kind of want your roasting pan to look like. Um, we're going to be covering this with tinfoil and again putting it back on the fire. Tinfoil. By the way, that's a really good cinematography trick, just in case you're wondering. Uh, <laughs> cooking goes hand in hand. Yes. So when I first uh, came and uh, we I, I got here at Squires Manor, it was my first trip. We went out to fill up this uh, refrigerator uh, with soda. Um, we, we offer uh, soda complimentary here at Squires Manor, uh, or pop, as the local colloquialism calls it, which I'm trying to adopt very hard. Uh, but I will never call a creek a crick. Gutenberg will always be Gutenberg, and we drive cars, not curves. That being said, when I bought the sodas, I brought them back and I put them in the refrigerator, and uh, they were like, you know, most of the people out here drink Pepsi, and I was like, you know, they can learn, because always Coca-Cola. One more thing, if I'm at a restaurant, and I work, like, if I'm like, hey, can I get Diet Coke, and you bring me out Diet Pepsi, I'm going to know. And so, 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 we're just roasting these on top of the fire. Kind of rolling them around, getting them hot, getting them primed, uh, if you will. Um, maybe I get you close, you can hear the sizzle inside. That is the uh, butter and the garlic, uh, with the garlic being cooked by the butter and cooking the vegetables. But here it comes. I love that sound. We have an hour and 19 minutes to go, and uh, I popped the vegetables into the oven. And uh, I guess now I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, this all cleaned up behind me. Um, so we'll see you in a bit. All right, so for the next part of our meal, we're going to have a red wine mushroom reduction bernet sauce. Uh, red is allergic to uh, onions, so I, I can't use shallots. Uh, but normally you'll also have shallots. Um, and again, this is my own personal uh, take on the dish. Mushrooms, uh, then you need... Um, like a red wine, and just buy like two buck chuck, which is three buck chuck now, actually. A lot of people use red wine vinegar instead of the actual red wine. Um, but I'm not making a red wine vinegar sauce. Uh, Julia Child's favorite ingredient, butter. I don't want to use a tarragon again. Use a tarragon. Use the tarragon again also. You're going to want to saute your mushrooms. Um, take that half a stick of butter, the throw them in, and uh, get them hot. Gonna start melting. Butter is melting. Put the tarragon in there. Put our mushrooms nice and uh, cut up. I'm gonna keep that. Get that going, you know. I'm gonna saute them. Um, open your wine. Charles Shaw's uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. By the way, it took me a really long time to. Uh, figure out how to say that. We did this video called Uncle Nathan Drinks a Charlie Sheen, uh, which was basically me drinking a 16 ounce glass of vodka topped off with Monster Rehab. You know, <laughs> a Charlie Sheen. I didn't show it on video and I should have, I'm sorry. Um, but I used to pour a cup of wine in and let it do its thing. And uh, you know, the camera's here. I should be looking at the camera and not like at myself. I kind of like what my eyes do when I'm looking at myself. It's, just, it's more like kind of crazy. Just letting it do its thing. 
Once your timer gets to 30 minutes, take the vegetables out. Collect yourself two egg yolks and put it into a double boiler. Don't do that. I went ahead and added another egg yolk. I didn't I didn't really like how it was uh, not thickening up the way I wanted it to. Uh, so we got three egg yolks in there. Um, I might add another one, I'll let you know if I do. Add a teaspoon of lemon juice. Then we're gonna wanna get it off the heat, put it into a mixing bowl, and we're gonna start whisking it, right? We're gonna start whisking, but I'm gonna need to stop because I have to hold on to the bowl. We have 15 minutes before the timer is up and we went ahead and pulled out the, uh, the roast. Let it sit with the lid closed though. Don't open the lid, super important. Remember those carrots and potatoes? Smell delicious, the garlic is burnt, that's okay, we're expecting that. These are those carrots I told you not to peel. They're absolutely fantastic, they're a jewel to work with. Look at that, look at that, that's fantastic. It's unbelievably good. And uh, this is what the other side looks like. So I am aware that my plating can use a lot of work. Um, it's what I've been working on, but this was all planned. So, it's juicy, it's tender, carrots are great, potatoes are great, Bernays red wine sauce, I'm all about it. I'm gonna go down and uh, gonna eat this downstairs with, uh, with Red. We're gonna watch Andromeda, uh, and, and uh, I'm gonna try and get this video up for you guys tonight. So, I uh, just came outside with Caroline to take her to the bathroom. My phone says it's negative eight, but it also says that it feels like negative 31. Um, it's pretty cold out. 